Hi, I'm Annie Fitzsimmons. I'm your Washington Realtors Legal Hotline lawyer. And today's video revisits an issue we covered years ago and haven't dealt with much since then through videos, but you guys deal with this issue every single day. And that is the topic of nanny cams and doorbells that have a camera and an audio feature. Let's cut to the chase. In Washington state, it is unlawful for any person to intercept the conversation of another person without the speaker's consent. Think about the devices we just described. Nanny cam inside the house, it's a generic reference to any time sellers, any property owner has a camera device inside the home that picks up both audio, wait a minute, audio <laughs> and visual movement and activity with inside the house or the doorbell device that does the same thing. The doorbell device has a camera on it. The, the camera exposes whoever is standing on the doorstep and also picks up their conversation either through a recording device or through an interactive conversation. If it's an interactive conversation, that's fine. Set that aside. There's no reason that you, that your seller could not communicate to somebody standing on their doorstep interactively, have a conversation with them through this mechanical device, this electronic device. That's fine. The problem is when the seller or the property owner intercepts that conversation, meaning that they're either recording, or listening in unbeknownst to the person speaking and the person speaking has not consented. So if this doorbell device either records a speaker's conversation on the doorstep or allows the seller to listen into that conversation, that's that, that action by the seller violates Washington law. If the nanny cam inside the house allows the seller to either record or otherwise listen to conversation within seller's home without the speaker's consent, that's a violation of Washington law. S listing brokers, there is a paragraph in the listing agreement that provides you the platform to have a conversation with your seller about this topic. And I do not want you listing brokers to tell the seller, you've got to disconnect your nanny cam. You got to disconnect your doorbell device because those devices may provide security to the seller that they need. And you have no authority to tell them to turn it off. Instead, you should point out this provision in the listing agreement and say, this is, the lawyers who've drafted the statewide forms, this is their warning seller about the state law provision regarding the interception of conversation. Do you have a doorbell device? Do you have a nanny cam? If the answer is yes, seller, you need to talk to your lawyer about what you need to do, at least while you're selling your house, at least while we are inviting members of the public into your house. It's not like the buyers and the buyer brokers are burglars coming into the seller's house. These people are people who are invited by the seller and then the seller is unlawfully intercepting their conversation because buyers and buyer brokers do not consent to have their conversation recorded. And it is not enough for seller to simply post outside the house or anywhere inside the house, warning your conversation is being intercepted. That's not enough. The speaker must consent and the speaker cannot consent through notice. All of that aside, buyer, buyers and buyer brokers, you should always, always assume that you are being viewed, which is not unlawful, while you're in seller's home or on seller's property, and that your conversation is being intercepted. Even though it's unlawful, you should assume that your conversation is being intercepted. Never say anything inside seller's home or even on seller's property. I've gotten hotline questions about people learning that their conversation was intercepted while they were out in the yard or even on the driveway. 
So uh, don't say anything while you're in seller's home or on seller's property that you don't want seller to hear. And if you're overprotective in that regard, if you, refuse, if you fail to say things to each other, even when there are no recording devices, you haven't lost anything. You haven't hurt anything. You're gonna get off the property. You're gonna go have a conversation about all the things you would have talked about on site. But if you are in a situation which is so rampant in today's world, where seller has recording devices or, or other electronic devices to intercept, then you protect your buyer from saying things that they don't want the seller to hear, you protect them from being in a situation where seller will hear those things. So general rule, don't say anything on seller's property that you don't want seller to hear. If you have a question about this or any other topic, visit the Washington Realtors website, warealtor.org, and ask me a question through the legal hotline. Thank you for being a Washington Realtors member. <laughs>